Everyone's uh, dancing and enjoying hits here. Awesome. And here's the Jester. Welcome to another video, Sunday 10th of December 2023 and we're here at Little Morton Hall and we're going to check out what it used to look like in the Tudor times from the 1600s, what Christmas was like then. Come and join us on this very wet, but quite mild December morning. And there we go, Little Morton Hall looking majestic as ever. Car park is pretty busy already. Coming up at uh, 10 50 a.m. Okay, so it's 11 a.m. Paid the entrance fee. Well, use the National Trust card. Now, I do apologize for the wind noise, got no microphone with the uh, really, really blustery day. All the floods the recent uh, rains. Now normally Mau Cop, you'd normally be looking right at Mau Cop there, but completely gone today in the mist. Visited Morton Hall in the summer and it was a beautiful Sunday morning. But yeah, today we're going to check out what Christmas looks like in the 1600s Tudor style. Come and join us guys. So it says, season's greetings from everyone at Little Morton Hall. And there's a moat around there. Right, let's head in. Well, Christmas trees here, they must be nice all lit up at night. So this is what it looks like Tudor Christmas. Just love walking around Little Morton Hall. So this is a Georgian Christmas. And check that out. They certainly ain't well. Beautiful dress. So the Georgian era, 1714 to 1830, Christmas celebrated from St. Nicholas's Day, 6th of December. Presents were exchanged to the 12th night on the 6th of January. By the time the Morton family no longer lived at the hall. Wow. And there's King George. At the hall on Christmas Eve, a large log wrapped in hazel twigs would be brought in to burn for as long as possible over the Christmas period. It's amazing. Well, guys, well worth coming to Little Morton Hall. Here it is a Victorian Christmas, 19th century. The Dale family were living in the hall as a tenant farmers. Tradition of celebrating over 12 days had been in steady decline for some time. Traditions follow today come from this period. Wow. This is amazing. 
Beautiful dress there. Look at that. Wow. Nice little fire. It's a Victorian Christmas. Even had crackers. And just check out the, the teacup there. Wow. And look at all the, the cakes and the biscuits. Easter eggs. Amazing. And a beautiful Christmas tree. Holly. This fabulous fireplace. So this is a Puritan Christmas. Let's just check out the, the old wallpaper there. Oliver Cromwell. The fireplace, amazing. You just gotta love Morton Hall, eh? This is called Little Parlour. Everyone's uh, dancing and enjoying hits here. Awesome. Now we're gonna continue to the upstairs gallery. And there's actually a jester there today as well. You might be able to see him a little bit later on with the rain going off now. Okay, let's head upstairs. It's amazing this place is. Wow. Okay, so to dress in wartime is worse than bad form unpatriotic. All the table dressed again for Christmas. Really glad I've come to Morton Hall at Christmas. It's a fabulous experience so far. Christmas pudding, two ounces of plain flour. And that's from the details of the Ministry of Foods, Christmas recipes, 1945. Post-war Christmas. Can't imagine people uh, celebrating Christmas during the war. Get the bed all dressed up. All the wrapping paper. This is amazing. Just fabulous experience. Beautiful Christmas tree. So this is a 1980s Christmas. All the board games. Cluedo. Snakes and ladders. Oh my goodness, look at the TV times. Connect Four, is it, that one? I remember the old boxes of uh, Quality Street. Awesome. And Shaking Stevens, 1985. Merry Christmas, everyone, remember that? Queen Elizabeth. Fabulous picture of the Queen. Check out the four-poster bed there. Brilliant. Present and future, 20, 2023 and beyond. I think we celebrate it a little bit different now, don't we? Really like the advent calendar there. And the Christmas jumper. And there's the king himself, King Charles, with his smile uh, mock up of uh, Little Morton Hall. It's an amazing place, eh? Tudor toilet. It's a little bit dark in here. But if we put on the light, we can now see. And there we go. The Tudor dunny. Whoa, it's a long way down there. We go straight into the moat. See down there, look at that. Wow. Well, that is the dunny. Okay, so we're going to head a little bit further down, just check out all the stairways here. And then we go up the stairs here. To be careful you don't break your neck. Gallery. Fabulous. All the writing inscribed in here. Gotta be my favourite part, always enjoy coming to see the long gallery. Look at that, how awesome is that? And I just love looking at this, the fireplace. And 
Just like you can tell how un uneven it is. Amazing place. And there's no heat in here. So on a cold day, it must be pretty chilly. It's a fabulous place to come. And a little more all, no screws, just held up with the bits of wood here. Let's head down. Just have to mind your feet as you go down here. It's pretty dark actually. How cool is this? Guessing in the olden days you must have had to have some kind of hand out light or something like a lantern to get down here without breaking your legs. This area is quite well lit but virtually outside now. And here's the jester. The rain has gone off, so we can take a look outside now. Amazing. The uh, not garden here. And inside there is the, the tea room. Just glad the rain's gone off now you're enjoying this uh, spectacular video today, a little more than all, at Christmas. If you've got the opportunity, come and do it. I believe it's just on a Saturday and Sunday at Christmas time. Definitely make the visit. Awesome display. the moat, looking spectacular today. A little bit of rain coming on again. So if you're in Cheshire, Definitely worth a visit. Little Morton Hall. Built in the 16th century, Tudor style. Just an incredible place. So lucky, living in Kidsgrove, just a couple of miles away, right on the doorstep, Little Morton Hall. It's a flying around there. You can see that actual Current prices, so homemade soup of the day. We've so got the, uh, the Jester. Uh, Daryl Pritchard videos. So uh, we'll do a link, and this is Harry Kingham. And he's doing the Jester display. Doing an awesome uh, job here at Little Morton Hall. How cool is this? There you go, he's trying to grab the, uh, the umbrella. There we go, brilliant. The, uh, the Christmas trees again, though. We get to check out the mistletoe as you come into Little Morton Hall. The Jester, here at Christmas, welcoming everyone to this fabulous place. Just before we leave you on this video, Malcott Castle is finally showing its I face. clearly see Malcott Castle. Never noticed here on the grass they've got the spirals which you'll see throughout the hall and these spirals on the grass and within the hall are to keep the evil spirits away. That's what they believed in the Tudor times, 1600. See you on the next video guys. Hope we've done well on this video. Of course if you've enjoyed it you know what I'm gonna say. Give me a thumbs up, drop me some comments, subscribe to the channel and we will see you on the next Vlogmas video soon. Merry Christmas, everyone. And make sure you come and check out Little Morton Hall.